Okay. What's good, y'all? Shout out to notification gang for hitting the like button. And if it don't even start yet, y'all the realest ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. I shout out to y'all, man. Y'all the ghost, man. If you haven't already, please make sure y'all add me on all um, social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. All the information is in the description. All the links are in my about page. Um, I had somebody send this to me on TikTok, y'all. So let's get into it. The caption says, he wanted to take me out, but I just wanted groceries. Am I wrong? Um, Just off, based off the caption alone, uh, I would say, I would say yes, but then I would say no. Because if you have a dude that that wants to sit out here and spend damn unnecessary money on you just because then he's a duck <laughs> he's a duck he's an idiot he's a simp uh let's get into it y'all so recently an old friend wanted to rekindle he said he wanted to take me out but i kindly declined i did but instead i suggested that he actually use that money to just buy a couple things to put in my fridge he said all right we can do that i said cool we get off the phone then he calls me right back he's like let me come over no, I know what you're on and I'm not trying to be on that kind of time. I said, let's just see each other tomorrow. We can catch up, talk and everything. He's like, all right. Next day comes, he says, you know what? I thought about this. This isn't going to work. Okay, yeah, let's move past that. My question is, did he say that because he knows that I need help and can't help me, doesn't want to help me, or because I don't want to smash? Does it sound like I'm treating him like a trick? Because I would say... He snapped out of it. I would say he met someone else. He met another woman that was worth his time. And fellas, I really need y'all boys to pay attention, man, because I say this, I say this too, too often. Is the juice worth the squeeze? In my opinion, just listening to her in 42 seconds, I would say, hell no. This man asked you out on a date. You respectfully decline or disrespectfully decline. Whoever, whoever, whatever, who cares? You decline. And in turn said, oh, well, instead of you spending that money on a date, how about you just buy me some groceries? What's really going on here? What? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I, you know, th th these types of things, it's kind of like, bro, what? Why? Why? Why would I spend money on groceries for you and I'm asking you to go out on a date with me. You said no? Okay, cool. That should have been the end of the goddamn conversation. Now she's out here looking for freebies. Okay, well, I'm not going to take you out on a date because I'm not on that type of time. I, I, he asked out again. No, I already know what type of time you are. I'm not on that. This, that, and third, blah, 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 blah. Fellas, let me ask y'all boys a question. Do y'all think she's sexually active? Be honest. Put in the comment section, do y'all think she's sexually active? She's a gorgeous woman. Fine as hell. The melanin, the, the melanin is, is, is popping. The hat, the hair, beautiful smile, teeth, all that. Gorgeous ass woman. Do y'all think she's sexually active? Because we all know the dude that's getting in her cheeks Ain't got to do none of that. And that is the reality, y'all boys, that we got to look at and understand. She's smashing somebody. Somebody's getting, somebody is busting on her face. Sorry. The quicker y'all boys understand that, the quicker you'll be able to accept it. Let's keep going. It's only a couple seconds left. Because I'm not willing to smash. I told him I'm not interested in having any kind of sex. I'm okay with hanging out. I need a couple things. Just to get some damn help. I'm capping on social media, man. We know, we know, we know you smashed somebody. Stop it. Stop the nonsense. Stop the nonsense. She's a gorgeous woman, fine as hell. In shape, petite, fun size. That, that, that's what we call them down south. Fun size, yeah. Yeah, we definitely have fun with that. I couldn't help but notice that there was women in the comment section 
calling the guy broke because he didn't want to buy her groceries. But she's the one who don't have groceries in her fridge because she's broke. Make that make sense. <laughs> I'm going to play this whole video out in its entirety. Let me run it, run it back a little bit. I'm going to play this whole video out in its entirety um, towards the end. But let, let me just say this. I, that, that, that's, that's hilarious to me. Fellas, pay attention. These are the same women that will sit here and call you broke, call you dusty. Oh, you a grown man. You can't even afford your own groceries. But not one woman said anything to her about having an empty goddamn fridge. What does she say? You know, I need, I got to smash this so I can get some help. You a grown ass woman. Why do you need help? Why aren't you able to afford all whatever your expenses is? Why are you not able to afford all these things um, by, by, by your damn self alone? Why do you need, why is your revenues not covering your expenses? Why does another man revenue has to come in and help your ass out? As if we don't have our own goddamn bills of our own. Why is that, fellas? I told y'all the sisterhood is hilarious. They will sit here and call you broke. They will sit here and talk down on you because you're driving an older car and they riding a goddamn city bus. They will sit here and talk down on you for living in a small apartment, like a one bedroom or two bedroom. We hear it all the goddamn time. Oh, he living in a one bedroom. I'm like, well, damn, I live in a one bedroom. I don't have any kids. Am I supposed to have a five bedroom house right now? It's coming, but not now. I'm not in the hell. No. I'm waiting for the market to crash. I'm not buying a damn thing right now. <laughs> um, but they will sit there and talk down on you for have but for living in a one bedroom apartment, and they ass sharing a room with their goddamn sister. They brothers, brothers. Imagine that. I've had women talk down on me because I'm living in a one bedroom apartment, and her ass still living living at home with her goddamn mama. Make it make sense. Sir, I don't think you did anything wrong. Um, I'm actually proud of you. Uh, but I don't think you did anything wrong. I think you did everything the correct way. You wasn't falling for the nonsense. You wasn't falling for the BS. And you said, screw that, I'm out. And rightfully so. I would have did the exact same thing. I told y'all, fellas, y'all need to be more firm. You need to be more stern. Put your foot down. Whatever it is that you want. What if it wasn't a date? Maybe he just wanted sex from her. Okay, cool. This is what I want. And she said, oh, I don't want to have sex, but we can go out on a date. I don't want to go out on a date. I want to have sex. That's it. No? Okay, cool. I'm out the door. Next. Stop trying to find compromise within these types of situations. With, with Just with women in general, but with, the, with these types of situations. Stop trying to find compromise. You said verbatim, hey, I want us to go out on a date because I'm feeling you, whatever, whatever, whatever. And she said, no. Let this have been uh, Patrick Mahomes, LeBron James, Steph Curry, Denzel Washington, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, um, uh, Idris Elba, goddamn Michael B. Jordan, Jonathan Majors. Let that have been any of those dudes that came up and said the exact same thing that you said. She would, man, she would have bent over and spread her whole asshole open. You are crazy. You are crazy. I told. When she said no, that should have been in the conversation. Oh, okay, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm out the door. I'm out the door. I'm not going back and forth with you. About what? For what? Why? I'm not dealing with that. I'm out the door. You said no? Okay, cool. Respectfully, have a good day. I wish you the best. Oh, but you can buy groceries. No, nah, I'm good. I'm straight on all that. You said what you said. I said what I said. I wish you the best. That's it. End of the goddamn conversation. Let me play this whole out thing out. I'm going to try my best not to stop it. I'm going to play it out from beginning to the end. So, recently an old friend wanted to rekindle. He said he wanted to take me out, but I kindly declined. I did. But instead, I suggested that he actually use that money to just buy a couple things to put in my fridge. He said, all right, we can do that. I said, cool. We get off the phone. Then he calls me right back. He's like, let me come over. I said, no, I know what you're on, and I'm not trying to be on that kind of time. Tomorrow. We can catch up, talk and everything. He's like, all right. Next day comes, he says, you know what? I thought about this. This isn't going to work. Okay, yeah. Let's move past that. My question is, did he say that because he knows that I need help and can't help me, doesn't want to help me, or because I don't want to smash? Does it sound like I'm treating him like a trick? 
because I'm not willing to smash. I told him I'm not interested in having any kind of sex. I'm okay with hanging out. I need a couple things. I am tired. I don't want to have to smash just to get some damn help. <clears throat> How about you get your ass up? Find a second job. They love hollering about how they grown and they strong and independent. As soon as it comes to them paying their goddamn bills, now all of a sudden they gang goofy. I need help. I gotta I gotta give you some pussy to, to, to you better do something. Do y'all know how expensive milk, eggs, bread, all that stuff is? And you expect them to fill up your fridge? Let me tell y'all something. I and first of all, I didn't even fill my fridge up. I went to the meat store. I would say I filled up maybe a little more than half. I would say a third, uh, two thirds of my freezer, just my freezer, two thirds full of meat, chicken, beef, fish, you know, steak. Uh, I, I I try not to stay. I try I, I try my best to stay away from pork, but uh, you know, a little bit of bacon, bacon here and there. I try my best to stay away from pork again, but you know, it is what it is. Didn't even get that much stuff. Two thirds of my freezer is now full. Guess how much I spent just at the meat store. Over 160 bucks. Guess how much money I spent on my uh, on my fridge and then my pantry, all the other stuff. Not even to fill it up, but just to put enough food in there. Again, not even full, just two, just half or two thirds full. For groceries, minusing um, cleaning supplies and stuff like that. When I went to Walmart, about close to two another two hundred dollars. Damn near three four hundred dollars spent, and I don't even have a full fridge. I'm supposed to spend three hundred dollars on you on your fridge for what? Just so she can cook for another goddamn man and feed another damn man, and use that energy that she just got from you paying buying her food to to screw that there to ride that another man's lap. Y'all boys gonna learn. Y'all boys gonna learn. <laughs> um. Just craziness, man. I want y'all to comment down below and let me know what you thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. And until next time, please, man, y'all be safe for a